and concern for all of humanity, my life in particular would not be the same. And for all these reasons and more, I would like to personally thank you, Mr. President and Mrs. Carter for the many miracles on 19th Street. Please join me in welcoming President and Mrs. Carter to the stage. all of you, so many people interested in and working with Habitat for Humanity. And I have always known that Habitat for Humanity was local. Anywhere you go in the world, there's a need for decent housing, and local people do that work. I never thought I would see so many pe local people coming together to celebrate this great organization. I just wanted to come. I just wanted to come and thank you for all the good work you do to make Habitat for Humanity the great organization it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I've been married to this woman over 70 years. <laughs> And for more than half our life, we've been working on habitat projects. <laughs> and we still have a few years to go, I hope. This year we're going to be in Canada. We'll be building, helping to build, 150 homes. I can't see you, but how many of you are going to be in Canada with us? Okay. We'll be in Winnipeg and Edmonton, and we'll be, be building a total of 150 homes in Canada in June. This is our 150th birthday, as you may know. And what we've done over the last 35 years, 34 years now, is to um, build one year in the United States and one year overseas. And we've built two years in uh, Haiti, and now we've been in this country for a couple of years. So we're going to Canada next year, and then back to uh, Indiana uh, next year in 19... <laughs> Yes, so we have had people working with us on the same projects, different projects every year, uh, who've been with us uh, 30 years or more. And uh, they keep coming back because Habitat is a kind of organization that all of us like to have to look back on and to, and to cherish. Every one of us wants to live a somewhat meaningful life. And it's very difficult for people like most of us here in this room who have everything to get to know and love and work with and feel equal to the people that have been born uh, in a poor condition, like Boris who just came on before us. And Habitat is the best way I know in the world to break down the barriers that exist between people who are really in need, who never had a decent home, home and those like us who have almost everything we want. One of the things I want to add, add to that is that we have uh, been gratified with Habitat because, as you know, we don't give away anything. We don't uh, assume a superior attitude and just give it to people who are in need. The people that work on our houses with us, the homeowners, uh, have to put in hundreds of hours of work on their own. They have to pay full price for the house. And in almost every instance in the world, we don't charge any interest because the Bible says you don't charge interest to a per per person in need. So I hope that all of you will continue to recruit other volunteers. When we first went to Habitat, uh, well, our first Habitat project in 1984, I think Habitat had built up a total of about 750 houses. Now they've just finished building homes for more than 10 million people. And that's that's as far as the Habitat made.
not because a former president and his wife worked on Habitat, but because Habitat is such a great organization within itself and gives everybody a chance to, 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 to gain. The homeowners gain, the donors gain, the people who help build the house with us as volunteers gain, and we have gained perhaps the most because our life has been enriched by Habitat as we've tried to help enrich people who move into the homes like Boris. So best wishes to you, keep working on Habitat, make it even greater in the future if that is humanly possible. Thank you very much. Go back to